Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below. They have links, so check that out. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and comments and questions are welcome. There's our business. Let's get to the fun. I want just loose. I want just big, boisterous flowers. That's what I want. Okay, so here's these. Um, okay, just do the flowers and then we'll figure out what about the leaves later. All right, I'm going to do some down. Two drops, two, one, two, three, whoops. And see, the good thing about this is the, the white doesn't dilute this down. So I, I do, there's my vibrant thing. So, yeah, I like that. Okay. You know, it's so funny when all the alcohol was scarce. I did have some. Luckily, I had bought a gallon. Um, but it was, everybody was kind of on this quest to find ways to still paint and not use it, which came the discovery of using Blanco. Um, and, you know, just really having fun playing around with no alcohol. So that, you know, we've come, we've, we've discovered some things. But now I think we're getting back to it. And I, I kind of keep forgetting that I can use this. And in place of the Blanco. Oh, good grief. Seriously. All right. Whoops, I really poured that, so I'm going to try to spread it out instead of big. And if you hadn't tried these little things, they are fun. I resisted for a while because I, I thought they were, they were goofy, and they're, they're just, I just thought, ugh. And I got it, and guess what? It's goofy, and I look like a chicken pecking seed on the ground. It was it was just terrible. Um, it still is. It's it's not the a beautiful way to paint, but these are awesome. They are absolutely <laughs> awesome. So they have a lot of different ones. I've got some little ones for the kids, so it'll fit their hands better. And of course, the first thing they do is grab mine. They like mine much better. Okay, there's that guy. And yes, it is more what I'm thinking. Get him all the way dry. Okay. Um, I would like to put one here and here. I want to cover this whole thing. I'm putting alcohol first. Don't know that it makes a difference. Just changing it up a bit. Oh my goodness, love that. That's awesome. I 
Now, if you need to, because this is awkward right here, turn your paper, but for video reasons, I don't. Um, it just keeps the visual thing nice. Um, I'm just going to stick it right there. Now, if it's gone as far as you want it, backpedal it a little bit, blow it back toward the center. And I am really, really, really putting the alcohol to it. I mean, I am, I'm not doing a one drop thing. I'm doing two, three, four drops. And just letting these be big and fun. Alright, there is the, that. I need more alcohol in here. So, if you had not seen this, I love this bottle. I transfer it from my big bottle into here. Because pouring it into this little nozzle here, or opening, you can't pour that. So this is the go-between. This is the little man. Stick it in there. Fill it up. You're good to go. These are awesome. All right, so that's that. Um, I'm sure. See what I was gonna do. So I was gonna do long, but they're not even gonna show up. There's not enough space. All right, so we're changing, changing directions, and I'm gonna stick with using this, no blanco. And I'm going to blow some leaves. Color, actually, just, just the color. I'm not even blowing much. Um, now, when I put this down, I'm not going to put it right there. Because it's going to spread and get up into this. I'm going to put it here. So when it spreads back, it's not getting over into my red a lot. That's my thinking. I can scoot it up there if I want, but you know it's going to activate. See, it's going to activate. And that's the part I don't like, right there. So, what can I do to fix that? Um, I'm going to put this color down, one drop. So, not loving the lettuce. Um, I mean, I do like it. I just, I want this dark. So this probably would have been a really, really, really good time to put the green down first. Because I'm going I'm to run red back over it and, and take that line away. I don't like that line. Okay, there, there's a pretty color. Straight ink.
Yep. I like that. Okay. Strain ink. And we'll do this. We'll see if this works like I think it might. Yeah, see, they kind of just messed up that line a little bit. Oh, 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 I really like that. Okay, so that was probably a good idea. <clears throat> oh, this is looking Christmassy. I don't like that. All right, what else can I do? Blue. I got some blue. Do I have blue? I have stream. I don't want to get up and go across the room. Yeah, let's see what this will do. Right here. Okay, I'm kind of liking these colors. Together, the blue makes this one not look so terrible. Let's do this. Makes them mix a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's do it over here and see what this does. Nice. I'm going to do the red and cover that spot up. I'm going to do more of yellow here. And I want some of that red to mix with that, and it did. So that, that's worked out pretty good. I like that. I'm kind of getting into some stuff I hadn't done before, or if I have, it's been long enough that I forgot about it. So what I'm doing, basically, I'm putting my color down first with the ink. And then if I need to blend it or do something different, I will put the alcohol down. And I like that I can hit that red and it'll pull over in there a little bit. I'm liking this. All right.
I don't even know what just happened right there, but I'm not going to get concerned with it. Yeah, I like the blue. I'm glad I added the blue. Ooh, looking a little too Christmassy. Yeah, look how good that did. So if I'd have put this blue, green, and green down, that would have blown over it and been perfect. That'd have been awesome. I want to lighten up the green. this wide it's maybe three-fourths of an inch wide I'm going to do uh, olive green no that is a little too light I need sap Olive green is just a little, I mean, warmer than the sap green. Sap green's cooler. I'm going to need more than that. It's a big brush. This is my thinking. I want to do something like that. And I wonder if it'll show up. So let's do one here. No, it does not show up. Okay, good to know. And something. I mean, you can see something, but not huge. Yeah, not huge. All right. Concentrate on the flowers then. See what we're going to do. <clears throat> I guess go ahead and put the dark centers. I 
hate to do the typical centers. Um, hmm. Okay, this one's obviously going that way. This one. This one's going up. Okay, my light's coming from this way. So it's going to hit this one here. And you know, if you don't have one of these little, I think they're micro brushes, get you a little, little brush, and you can sit and do the same thing. Now, just with anything really, I just do my little streaks. Hopefully, while it's still wet, and they'll do them. But just to indicate a few, you don't have to do all of them. You don't have to even touch the dots that you've put above it. If you really want to have fun, glitter glue. Glitter glue is great. Okay, outline or don't outline. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Um, let me look at it. 
You know, I'm kind of wanting to outline it, but that doesn't look bad. Yeah, I'm outlining. It has been a while since I've outlined. Okay. Options. You got a marker or you have a brush. And I use a number two, uh, it's a rigger. And it makes thin and thick so that I like that. I like that look. I like the marker too, but I really like that look. So I'm going to put down my black. Sorry. If it's thick and you can't make flowy lines, then you want to put some water in it. This seems to be pretty good. I try to look at the most obvious line, and it seems to be this petal right here, so I'm going to go with it. I'm holding it midway, so I'm not trying to, you know, be too detailed. And I just want to indicate there's something. Once you get rolling on this, it's pretty easy. It's not as intimidating. And even if you get off in the green, don't worry about it because that's actually part of the fun. It looks cool when it's done like that. Not too bad. I don't think I'm going to do any of this. Usually I will try to outline my uh, leaves, but I don't think I'm going to. Now, I'm swapping up a little bit. And this, I have options at this point. Spray it with Kmar. And then when I put either a white Posca on it, or any of the acrylic inks on it, it will not absorb the color underneath it as much or if at all. Or I use a heavy uh, acrylic, I water it down a little bit, and this doesn't do it. If it does, it does so tiny. I can do the Kmart and this, and it definitely won't, um, and I think I'm going to do that because I, I really want them to not be pink at all. So I'm going to spray with Kmar. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my heavier acrylic. This is not an ink. This is acrylic paint. The other ones are acrylic ink. This one I feel covers better and it won't uh, activate something under it. Now, that's not to say it doesn't, it, it's not 100%. I have said something and it turned around and did it. So, 
you know, I don't know the combination, but for the most part, I can pretty much count 99% this is not going to turn. And I've got a video comparing the acrylic inks, Bombay inks, and alcohol inks. And once you put the Bombay or acrylic inks down, they're done. They're fat. They're not, you're not reactivating them. Alcohol will reactivate them. And, but you can still blow alcohol around on it and it's fine. If you take a brush and scrub on it or rub on it, the brush will pull it off. Uh, I learned that during that <laughs> video, left it in there, um, because when I paint, I've never had it do that, but I've always put a line down and then I would blow the ink and alcohol over it, the alcohol ink and alcohol, and it did fine until I took a brush to it and that, that pulled it off. So just to understand there's, it's, it's not a hundred percent, but 90, 90 something percent, it's, it's doing what you're wanting it to do. So, um, to ensure that I have white, I'm going to Kmar varnish it. Normally the acrylic inks, the regular acrylic paint and I'll call ink, uh, no, sorry. Um, Bombay inks would stay. There's always that chance. So I just feel like I have no, no chance of that happening with this. So I'm going to go spray and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. It is whew, not dry. You think it'd been dry? I just went and fed fish and <laughs> both tanks, and they're still not dry. Okay, hold on. All right, so that's got to be dry. I'm gonna take, again, my number two river. I'm gonna water this down just a tad. I still want it kind of thickish, but I don't want it so thick that it's not going to flow. So I think that's, that's pretty good. What I do here is I go with the black, but not quite. I'm not going to exactly parallel it. I'm just going to indicate it's right there with it. So like for this one, I would do something like that, you know, something kind of, that seems to be a little on the thick side. And believe it or not, this is a lot of fun. It's just like giving your permission, yourself permission just to wing it. And not stay in the lines.
And I think that's awesome. Give yourself permission to have fun. I'm going to do this and leave it. It might dry bumpy, which it, if it does, it's perfect. And this is just straight. If you want, you know, you can add some of the white lines here. I think before I do the white, I would do the black. If that is something that bugs you is like this, like there's not a line coming down here. I don't know that I do the white necessarily as much as I would just the black. And I really don't see much else. I mean, there's maybe that, but. For the most part, I think that's good. I'm, I'm happy with it. And that's been fun. Yeah, I like it. See, I like the indication there's a leaf there, which makes me really want to go back and do some of that. But I'm not going to. I'm not. Just let it have fun. Okay. Take some techniques and play with them and have fun. See you later.